people welcome to my cozy festive evening routine so the first thing i like to do as soon as i step through the door is pop the heating on because it's absolutely freezing at the moment then i'm usually greeted by tilly she usually waits for me on the stairs it's so cute a new little routine for tilly is i actually give her one of her favorite treats when i get home to be fair that's probably why she waits for me because she absolutely loves them Next, I head upstairs to get comfy and cozy. I'm gonna put on the biggest, fluffiest dressing gown that I can find and take my makeup off. First, I like to use a makeup remover to remove my makeup before cleansing. This one is super moisturizing and it's perfect for the colder months. Next, if you have dry, sensitive skin like me, you must try the Elemis Cleansing Balm. It almost melts your makeup off and it's so hydrating and smells absolutely incredible. And of course, I'm gonna cleanse my face using my Foreo Luna 3. This is actually controlled via the Foreo app, so it's super simple to use. I use this every single morning and every evening to deep cleanse my face. It's fab for removing any dirt from in your pores and since I've been using the Luna 3, my skin has literally transformed. It's so much clearer and smoother. It's also brilliant to use as a post-workout skincare routine to prevent any breakouts from sweat. The Foreo Luna 3 is also a firming facial massager, which is amazing for pamper evenings, which you know I love. The app includes loads of different massages to choose from. I'm going to leave a direct link to the Foreo Luna 3 in the description box below. Last but definitely not least, I'm going to use a new favourite, which is the Kiehl's Moisturiser. This is amazing. It makes my skin so glowy and hydrated. So next, of course, I'm surprised it's taken this long, but it is time for our main man, Michael Buble, to make an appearance whilst I make dinner. Tonight's dinner is super easy, as always. It's perfect to just pop in the oven whilst you have a bath, which is exactly what I'm going to do tonight. So my dinner is literally coconut rice, runner beans, and two salmon fillets with a little bit of teriyaki marinade. I usually pop this all in a baking dish. I cover it with some tin foil and put it in the oven on a low heat for about an hour. I recently discovered this little sachet of heaven, which is gluten-free and dairy-free banana loaf from Sainsbury's. It is so yummy. Absolutely perfect for one of those nights where you just want a really quick dessert. You simply add three ripe bananas and some dairy-free spread. I also like to add some raisins and I also pop this in the oven for about an hour. So whilst my dinner is in the oven, I'm going to have a quick clean, light some Christmas candles so the house is feeling super cosy and head upstairs for a nice warm bubbly bath. Hoping to find that something that makes you see that I love Forsaken more. What in the world? So, next up, I'm using a new favorite, which is my spiced cranberry and orange bubble bath. This is actually from Avon, but I got it from eBay. I will leave a link in the description box below. And I'm also using one of my festive little bath bombs from Lush. This smelled amazing, but I felt a little bit sorry for it going in the water. 
I think it's because his antlers got all wet. I think I'm just weird, to be honest. Is anyone else like this? And then, of course, I'm going to light all the candles and I'm going to have a nice pampering bath. I'm going to wash my hair, put a face mask on and relax. I'm out of place in a sea full of smiles Walking down Main Street tonight Got a lot on my mind since you walked out and said Merry Christmas, babe, give me some time Holidays are coming and there's no way around Better join in the holiday crowd While I'm struggling to find some peace of mind Merry Christmas, babe, hope you're alright When you're not here to walk with me It all seems like a waste So tell me tonight So once I get out of the bath, it's time to put on some Christmas pyjamas. These ones are actually from Primark and they are so comfy. I'm going to take my dinner and the banana loaf out of the oven. I'm then going to eat my dinner and I usually just kind of chill for a bit after this. I'll usually go on my laptop or phone until a little bit later in the evening when it's the best time of the whole entire day, which is hot chocolate time. Yeah, the streets might be full, but I'm empty inside. So this is one of my favourite hot chocolates, it's low calorie and low sugar, but it doesn't taste like that, it tastes super like luxury, it's so nice. settle down for the evening on the sofa with my hot chocolate and I'm going to watch a Christmas film. So many of you have been recommending The Night Before Christmas on Netflix. Oh my gosh, I finished watching it and it was amazing so thank you to everyone who recommended that. Next, I'm going to take up my hot water bottle to bed. I am loving having a hot water bottle recently. Tilly also loves to lay on it as well. I'm then going to give my pillows a spray with this pillow spray. If you do struggle to get off to sleep or just struggle to relax, then please use this. It's so good. So we have reached the end of my festive evening routine. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Night night.